Hi, I'm Tino. I'm Chris, and we are Praying Mantis, and you are watching Stormbringer, the Austrian Heavy Z Line. So, um, uh, 19, uh, 1916, of course, <laughs> <laughs> 2016 uh, uh, remarks uh, anniversary for Time Tells No Lies. Uh, wow, yeah. Yeah, uh, Very for long you. Time. Uh, how does it feel? It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I love, you know, this this festival here, the Keep It True Festival, which is where we're going to play this this um, this um, classic album. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna, it brings back many happy memories. I'm, by the way, I'm Tino Troy from Praying Mantis. I'm Chris Troy from Praying Mantis also. And as you can probably gather, we are brothers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For all this time. I'm Mike from Stormbringer, by the way, but you all, we, you, we all know that. <laughs> and this is a bottle of beer. Oh. <laughs> the the so-called new wave of British heavy metal. Uh, it was uh, many many big bands came came out of that like Iron Maiden and Saxon and, and but yep. some of the bands like uh, maybe not your band but there were, were some bands like Samson and all this stuff who disappeared really quickly for that the, this 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 new wave of British music is praised really really big in the music scene why, why do you think is is this so some bands made it really big some bands disappeared after a few years. It was it was a fantastic platform, you know, for for many bands. You know, in a way, now I think Iron Maiden probably don't necessarily associate themselves with it, but it was their platform. So to me, I find it a little bit unfair that they almost disassociated um, themselves yeah. with it. You know, it was a, their platform. I mean, there was a guy called Neil Kay at the uh, Heavy Metal Soundhouse where um, a friend of ours said, you know, take your um, demo take down there hopefully he'll play it it was exactly the same for Maiden wasn't it he yeah, started exactly. playing it it was the same the, time the yeah. fans yeah. loved it and that's that's what started bringing them up and it was the, it was the same with us really with Neil Kay and the, you know the heavy metal sound house and the whole first tour that we did with them the, uh, we did the metal for mothers tour mm -hmm. and then we did another tour with Iron Maiden around the country um, not the metal for mothers tour but it's just Iron Maiden with sp very special guests playing Mantis but um, yeah I mean it was the new wave of British heavy metal yeah. tour and that yeah. was um, that but yeah I mean so it formed a number of bands as you said there was Def Leppard again you know yeah, yeah, massive yeah, yeah. so obviously Leppard and Maiden probably the two sort of really you know the, the, the biggest bands now mm -hmm. that came out of it there's many I think that did fall by the wayside because it, to be honest it, it's like any race you know I suppose there'll be a couple of, of winners yep, yep. you know there's others that you know sort of uh, fell further behind yep. and maybe they didn't quite hit the, the you know that that point so they they disbanded or, or didn't quite mm -hmm. make it uh, Samson started doing it but you know they fell by the wayside but you know oh, as we know Paul poor old Paul Died, was yeah, five, passed away. No, ago. no, Maybe longer than that. It's about twelve years. Yeah, years there's um, yeah. and also Bruce Dickinson, who was their singer. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. obviously he became. Made it big, yes. I made the singers. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's piloting the the band right seven move. four seven. You know, so. which is um, um more than we can say for our drummer Dave Potts at the time when we were on tour with Iron Maiden. They offered him the the gig with Iron yeah, Maiden, yeah. and he turned it down because he he said to to Rod Smallwood that. Praying Mantis will be bigger than Iron <laughs> 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 Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sits now at home. Oh, why? You can blame all on you can blame all on him. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but you did did something in the nineties with uh, with Paul Diano as well. Yes, yeah. um, we we did the tenth anniversary of um, of Time Tells and Lives of the new mm -hmm. new wave British heavy metal anniversary. Yeah. Basically, it was ten years, and we went to Japan, um, and it all started. It came about by Paul Diano. He approached um, a big DJ in Japan, who was the um, big rock DJ in Japan, a guy called Masa Ito, about taking his band, I think it was Battle Zone at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, Masa, the DJ, he actually said, well, why don't you do this instead? And he said, we'll create the super group, you know, like we've, of um, Paul Diano, Dennis Stratton and Brian yeah, yeah, Mantis. Yeah, yeah. And um, that's how it all started off. And we did a, we did a set of half half maiden songs and half mantis songs in fact it was half mantis songs and then we did the lionheart song because that's when dennis stratton yeah, he yeah, moved yeah, to yeah. lionheart after iron maiden and then 
we came we came in and we did the whole of the Iron well half the Iron Maiden set as well, didn't we? Oh, yeah, it, was, yeah, yeah. it was great, you know. Yeah, I love playing. I uh, love playing those would have tunes. Loved <laughs> to be there, so, but yeah. I was phenomenal. I mean, the you know because we thought we'd go over there and there'd be a small shows and a little bit of interest, but it was phenomenal interest. It was like five shows, like Hammersmith Odeon size, and yeah. um, it went down a storm, absolute yeah. storm. We we were just you know cloud nine. Completely. Yeah, they, they are going mad for metal over there. At I the guess. time they did. You know now it's a lot lot more difficult. I think in Japan, you know, they, they became wise to it, and every all the Western bands were going there, and um, and then it sort of calmed down. But at that time, 1990 was incredible, incredible. But you have been uh, other bands disbanded over the years. Other bands got bigger over the years. You 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 never gave up. You just you had just two short interruptions in your history, I guess. That's But other, uh, other than that, you just you just keep on. You kept on uh, making music all the time. We have considered it. I mean, there's many, been many a time when we think, well, are we getting too old to, to make it and stuff yeah. like that? But we just enjoy it so much. We just enjoy the writing, and our songs have got an element about them that. Uh, Are very different from a lot of uh, the metal bands of today. You know, we have, we work a lot with melodies. You know, we structure the songs. Mm. You know, do very, very vocal harmonies as well, and sweeten those up and the guitars. So it's, um, it's a very different sound from a lot of the metal bands today. And we, we think, well, this is too good to give up. Well, Chris and me have discussed it many a time. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we said maybe make this the last album. Maybe make this the last album, and after the next one, maybe make this the last album. You know? So I think that'd be burying me so the, with my guitar. So, so the legacy might not be the last album. No, <laughs> although it sounds like a last funny album. Enough, funny <laughs> enough, uh, that was it. Let's let's, let's call, it, I call it our legacy. But you know, then we got these two new guys in the band as well. You know, with the um, oh, injected so much. Yeah, and they're so enthusiastic, which is great because we never got this from um, any of our other members before, especially the singers. You know, we encourage them to to actually write their own songs as well because I've always found it's very important for a singer to express himself the way he is and to write something that is personal to him will make him express himself that yes. much better yeah, on stage. Yeah, yeah. Whereas we didn't get that with any other. Yeah. So Jay Z yeah. has started doing this, doing this with Praying Mantis now, and um, yeah, they, but they've yeah. like. And they're actually going, yeah, this is brilliant. absolutely brilliant. We, let's let's do it. Let's so do so, so you, uh, the enthusiasm is there again. Do you, you know, a lot of people. Hopefully, <laughs> you'll <laughs> you'll see it tonight. Yeah. I mean, people come up to us after many of the shows, and they say, "But you guys, you seem to enjoy yourself immensely. You're not just going out there and playing, going through the motions and playing the songs." They say, "You, you know, we're all smiles. Yeah, you know, like you know, arms yeah. around each other." And that's why it comes. You know, hopefully, that's why it comes across. But that's we love the music, but we also love that you know, say we're enjoying this. And you can hopefully see that, you know, in the audience. So, you know, hopefully it'll come across tonight. I mean, we can see the boys are enjoying themselves right now. So, yeah, yeah. no, this is brilliant. I mean, the sun's out as well, which is great, yeah, you yeah. know. Um, and we're also doing, at the end, we're doing a lot more gigs now as well because I mean, the band is working a lot more now. We, before we were just getting. The, The odd three three gigs a year, maybe you know, four yeah. gigs a year. Yeah. Now so we got new management, and you yeah, know, hopefully now they're something. they're going to take us to a place we haven't been beat to mm. before. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're more the kind of musicians to say, oh, okay, we 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 are around the stage as long as we can climb up on that stage and can stand yeah. on uh, up right. the stage or something like that, or just quit it at some point. I yeah, think you're you're um, well, the something. first kind. You with wheelchairs and, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and Zimmer frames. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the one guy of the band right now, he has to sit right there, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But maybe because it's all does that, does <laughs> well, it? yeah, yeah. But he's but he has an accident or something of some sort, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was playing with Prime Mantis. <laughs> <laughs> so, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, now it's so, um, and also we have, like I said, towards the end of the year as well in the autumn, where we're we're, we're supporting Y and T in in England, ah, we're doing cool. some London, yeah. and we're also playing a show in Hamburg on the sixth. Yeah. I think yeah. on the sixth. In Austria as well. I think we will be coming to Austria, but not until yes, next we year. Are in Austria, yeah, Austria. yeah, but we have big plans for next year. Yeah. So, um, yeah, watch this space. We'll consider Vienna or something for the tour, for the tour schedule. Definitely. <laughs> no, I'd love to. I've never been to Austria, so I'd love to do this. There's many countries that you know I'd like to to visit and you know show our music to to the world, basically. I think Y and T were there several years ago. Yeah, as far as I remember. So, no, yeah. it's great because with the internet now, it's brilliant because you get. 
feedback from fans from different yeah, territories yeah, yeah, yeah. so you on know on the same day yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you know where to go now you know where your your fan bases are which is great it's mm -hmm. a great, great tool for for getting us about you you, you mentioned the, the new the new times with like internet and stuff and facebook um uh, are there any any do you think there are any drawbacks nowadays for musicians or is it just positive Financial to have er everything around all the time well, Yeah, I mean, obviously, the, the social media, I think, helps a lot. It, you know, it gives you a, a platform to, um, you know, to distribute your, you know, all the knowledge about the, the band, etc. But then again, that applies to all bands. So you're, you're in that competition. You've got, you're in that fight all, all the time. Um, when you look at the whole element of digital sales and things like that, then obviously that's the negative. To, to us, you know, a digital thing is pie in the sky, it can never be traced. It's, and, and to me, it is partially killing music. You know, hopefully with vinyl and everything, it'll, it'll, it'll be a little bit of, you know, um, keeping it true. But uh, yeah, 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 that's right with the crowd. It's killing music, there's no doubt. And also with this back album as well, with Legacy, we, we've gone back to our roots again and using Rodney Matthews, who's the artist, which is a great, great piece of artwork and it has to display, be displayed properly. properly. So um, it's, um, I think, a good, a good album. For vinyl, for yeah, vinyl, for, yeah, for good art. Well, even even on a CD, you know, on a, on a good quality CD, mm -hmm. that artwork comes across. Well, it's like I say, you do a digital download, you don't get that. But you know, to have a good picture of, mm -hmm. on, of the. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to me, you know, it's not when people just download music. It, to be honest, why not go out of the album and then you know just transfer it to electronic and, mm -hmm. and keep it as a, you know an item that stays in your cupboard or whatever. It's a collector's item, and um, you know, it's something. That you possess, whereas electronic, it's, it's yeah. just there, yeah. you know, and you can lose it, you lose your bloody phone yeah. or whatever, it's gone. So. That's right, it used to be a prized possession. You had an album, and you know, I used to wait to, to, to get yeah, to the record shop to buy this album. That, hasn't it? And then you used to take her out, you know, very carefully with yeah, your finger yeah, in the yeah, middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And your thumb on the edge, yeah, yeah. you know, treat it like a lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you'd be. But CDs are. <laughs> And then you'd be, uh, you know, you'd have too many drinks one day and go <laughs> <laughs> right across with a big scratch on the. Oh. That's what. Uh, that's why you have CDs, so you can yeah, keep the, the records in yeah, the shelf and right. listen to the CDs in, instead. Do you uh, realize that there is a big longing uh, the, of the people nowadays for the, the old times, the old times music like 70s rock and vintage rock, and also new wave of British heavy metal, including your your music as well. That there is a big longing in the new generation because maybe so. they have never been there or something. Yeah, they, I, that, that's it. We've in fact in the last year or two we've experienced quite a few people, younger people coming up to us at gigs. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Whether they it's be a very the, old one, yeah, that's sure. a very old. <laughs> whether they be the children of the uh, the father or the mother who brings them <laughs> to the shows, but yeah. even so, you know, we've got some young, you know, teenagers who come to our gigs and. An amazing band I heard all about you but I've never realized you were such a brilliant band so yeah we are gathering gathering new audience as well which is brilliant but why do you think is this phenomenon that this old music just keep keeps reoccurring every every 10 years every 15 years I mean, it was good music you know there was superb music there and I think eventually people you know they do appreciate it it's just letting them know yeah. it's there you know and that's that's probably you know going back to one of your earlier questions at least with the social media it does maybe help a little bit mm. to to let them know it's there as, as long as they can get a snippet of and they go oh i like that yes then go and buy the album so maybe that is is helping a little bit mm. yeah the great but, but, um, things like discogs and things like that where yeah. you can can look up the prices as well and some, something like that yeah I mean there's some great great um, artists out there at the moment but you don't you never hear of them I mean a lot of them are just you know kids like playing in their bedrooms sometimes and like using apple loops to make songs you know yeah. you say, well I've heard that before hang on a sec yeah. <laughs> he's, he's toyed around with that and no, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot but you know oh, I know yeah, but, yeah, but Every, everybody thing. can write a song basically yeah. but you know okay. but the kids get a bit older and they go hang on And I remember my daughter saying to me once, oh, she said, I love that, that song and it's been covered by an artist that she would like. And I said, oh, so-and-so wrote that 20 years ago. And she goes, really? <laughs> <laughs> so she started listening to music of yesteryear. And they, as they get older, they learn to appreciate like, what you've been through you know, as yeah, a musician. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. And it's amazing to have you here, like 30, 35 years after. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's 35 years, actually. 
be. Shouldn't have said that. We, we beeped that out. It's like Well, beep, the band, beep, I mean, the band. <laughs> we, we formed the band in um, college, when I was at college, at Furniture College, um, 1973. Yeah. Praying Mantis. That's where I was yeah. born. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Well, and I'm celebrating my 60th birthday. Today? Two two days ago. Okay. On the 28th. So, so have a happy birthday after. <laughs> Thank you. In, in, in I hope people will raise a, a beer to me tonight. <laughs> of course. But, um, yeah, we're looking forward maybe to another record. I mean, 2015 was, was was Legacy, the, the last record. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Not the last record. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, the yeah, last I don't think it the last. Out, our last course, opera. Yeah, of course, so. yeah. Okay. So there is many more to come from Praying Mantis, of course. And uh, it's, it's an honor for me to have you both here at this very sunny day, at this very cool festival. You're very welcome. Yeah, yeah. Thank hope you, you Michael. Hope you enjoy your day. And Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Pleasure. Thanks. Cheers, guys.